Don't you have your name attraction? Attraction. Attraction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. No particular order, but let's just go in, we'll do the right thing and be talking and let me see how we will stop, we'll stop. Attraction is attention. Attraction is attention. Attraction is attention. Anything that is worthy of your attention is your attraction. Anything that is worthy of your attention is your... And you can say anything that commands your attention is your attraction. But people won't give attention to what didn't attract them. People only give attention to what attracted them. So anything that is worthy of your attention is your attraction. Attraction is a bait used to lure or trap or get attention. Attraction is a bait, like B-A-I-T, that, B-A-I-T, that is used to lure, trap or get attention. So sometimes they, 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 the advertising company, they know how to do that. They just look for an attraction, what they will use in order to make people to... Well, there's a lot of competition happening. So what people to use, they want to use attention, uh, attraction to be able to draw attention. So you can be measured by what attracted you, by what commanded your attention. You can be measured by what attracted you. We can measure you, we can define you by what that which attracted you. Those years we used to have that the the, the back spin line. I still remember back spin line we usually used to have and then during the time of question, no, we'll be waiting for those question time. Question time they will now ask uh, what what attracted you know they will ask the people involved. But, uh, and then every everybody says is spoken, want to know what was it. And then you come and hear so many things you hear. So that I had since that time, I will never forget it till now. <laughs> and then you hear things. So you are measured by what attracted you. You can be defined by that which attracted you. So one thing you have to know is everybody has an attraction. But it is not everything that everyone gets attracted to. Everyone has an attraction, something that attracts them. Everyone has an attraction. But it is not everything that everyone gets attracted to. There is nobody who doesn't have something that attracts them. But it is not everything that attracts everybody. But one thing is sure, people get attracted to profit and benefits. People get attracted to profit and benefits. And yet to see anybody that is not attracted to something that will profit them or be beneficiary to them. So if you are out to attract What benefit and what profit does your attraction carry? What benefit and what profit does your attraction carry? Is your attraction just empty? If it's empty, then it's a bad market. There are people you won't get because men are looking for where they will make profit, people are looking for where they will get benefit, people are looking for where they will invest, and to invest in that place, they want to trust where they can invest. And for you to get them, you need to come with something that will benefit or profit them. So if your attraction does not come with benefit and profit, forget about it. 
And so the next question is, what level of benefit and profit does my attraction carry with it? What benefit and profit does my attraction carry? If what you are bringing as an attraction cannot benefit me, I won't be attracted. If what you are bringing as an attraction or what you are showing as an attraction does not have any profit in it, forget about there are certain persons who will not who you will not get. What level of benefit does your attraction provide? What level of benefit does my attraction provide? Does my attraction have benefit and profit that can interest kings, queens, noble and worthy personalities? Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1. Maybe I've mentioned it here to you people before. When I was in that, I, I had an encounter with one, I think that was two years ago or so, I had an encounter with one young, uh, young man. That's a long time straight. So, so when to me, I usually go to back here, that time. So the young man saw me and came around and said, sir, please, do you have a Bible application in your phone? I said, yes, but I'm charging my phone. He said, I'm looking for a place in the Bible. And I said, well, which place in the Bible are you looking for? See that place that the Bible says that seven women will go and run and go one man. I told him, okay, that's Isaiah 4 verse 1. And I told him, are you a pastor? <laughs> and I told him, I know what you are looking for, but wait, let me explain that place to you. The scripture said, in those days, in that day, in that time, seven women will hurry and go one man. And what would they say? He said, we can take care of ourselves, we can put our bill, we will clothe ourselves, feed ourselves, but let us bear your name. I told him, the scripture saying that that time is now, that that time there will be scarcity of good young men. There will be scarcity of men that have profit and have benefit. And so there is these women who have built themselves. Do you know what it means for a woman to come to the level that she can feed herself and clothe herself? Sometimes a woman comes down by the time you measure her clothing from the head to the what she wears on the neck. Sometimes it's more than 20,000. And then the feeling that the person will feed herself for one month, do you know what it means? And that person has already built capacity. And so they don't want to marry any kind of man. And so since there was scarcity of men, what was fueled around that area at that time was Ninja Beat Boys. Politician talks. And so they were more interested in who their children will be like than who their children will look like. Uh, no, no, you didn't get me. Because who your children will be like is more important than who your children look like. And so they don't just want anybody to be the father of their children. And so since there was scarcity of young men, they now look, they now say that there is only these people that have profit and benefit. You say that the level it is people are attracted to profit and benefit. And so they now see that among the hundred of men, only three or four of men that have profit and benefit. So all the traffic of good women, they are attracted to those ones that carry profit and benefit. So I now ask the boy, do you look like a person that those kind of women will come to? And he kept quiet. He knew he does not look like. Because even his own sisters, Metalism told him, he cannot marry somebody like him. Attraction. What does your attraction, what benefit and what profit does your attraction come carry to it? First thing, chapter 10. First thing, chapter 10, please. First thing, chapter 10, verse 4 to 10. Verse 4 to 10. Please, can somebody read for us? Let 
Yeah. When the Queen of Sheba has seen, go ahead, all Solomon's wisdom. So what is she doing? Okay, happy. Right. Okay, verse 10. What did she do, verse 10? She gave the king. Go ahead. The kind of thing she gave was so much that the king never received such again. Now, okay, thank you, God bless you. What prompted her giving? The attraction that she has seen, the level of attraction of what the scripture said that the things, the attraction that she beheld was so much. Some Bible person said that she became breathless. She lost her mind. The level of attraction, she was mentioning the things, the way of organization she sees. Man of God, there are certain places I enter, I see organization, I know that we have not started something yet. There are certain reasons why people will come into some of our gatherings and then they will not come again. Some places you enter, you see organization from the gate of the church, from the gate of the organization, from the people who welcome you, from how they the usher to you, to, to the music, to the media, to everything. People come in and this is our own attraction. There is one man who remains in a particular church because of their convenience. Convenience. We do tourism. We do tourism. So they, the man went to eat himself and saw where they say it's a urinary. The man saw it. The man said, that the church can have something like this. You see, he will not go back to that his church. This woman saw things, saw arrangements. This is what we call attraction. And this attraction was what prompted the gift she gave to Solomon. The scripture says she gave so much to Solomon that after that nobody ever gave that kind of gift to Solomon. What prompted that gift? Attraction. See, the way to the heart of kings, noble men, worthy kings and personality is not through their stomach. Gone are the days they will tell you that the way to a man's heart is through their stomach. It is not a man like me. It's not a man like me whose mother was a restaurant person. It's not to a man who already know how to cook his meal and know how to do any type of meal they want. So the road to my heart is not through my stomach. The road to the heart of worthy things and personality is through intelligence, competence, character, conversation, worthy conversation. That is what attracts us. Some of them can afford to get a cook, whatever cook they want to get. Children are attracted by sight and appearance, but mature minds are attracted by intelligence, profits, benefits. That is what mature minds are attracted to. There are kings whose attraction is not dresses or sex or food. There are people you can't get such way. There was no way that Solomon was going to get that attracted to that woman. That woman would have if they talk just about what is it that she, she, she is a queen from where she's coming from. Is it gold? Is it silver? Look at the things she already has. There are people that the attraction is not money. And that is what makes some of the I feel for some of my fellow ministers. There are places you go, you go to places like Abuja, you go to Lagos, people they are not looking for prophecy. You, I see you going to abroad, does not move them. Some of them don't go, they don't tire. 
I see you driving a car and you are talking about the already the model of 2024. You have already booked for the new model of 2024. It does not move them up. The, the which is in your own car, that one does not move them up because already the witches were there and then they have not their vision. One of my pastors was talking, he said a man came and gave something to the new pastor that came to the church. And so the new pastor, the way he was feeling happy, began to pray for the man. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will multiply you. As of the man was not saying amen. <laughs> the, pastor, the man was not saying amen. And the man, the, the pastor, now after the prayer, said, oh, okay. you're not saying amen. You don't like the prayer. The pastor, my problem with the money. Oh. My problem now, I don't even know what to do with the money. Which means there are people that their attraction is not money. So if Solomon would have not attracted that woman, if it was to do with gold or with silver or with money, she already has them that she has given to Solomon more than what anybody has ever given to Solomon. So what is attracting her is not money. If the attraction does not go beyond money, hey. Children are attracted by sight and appearance, but matured minds are attracted by functions and performance. Matured minds are attracted by functions and performance. Take a child to a car stand and you will see drama. <laughs> Take a child to a car stand. The first thing that comes to the child, the color of the car. What has color of the car have to do with the function? At that 2020, I was coming back from a place in Cross River with the head of the the man was in charge of labor, the man in charge of labor Cross River. And so he traveled with the family. They, they had three cars. As for that was the three cars they used in the joining. So the, the, the other one was driven by the, the one they used to carry the things they travel home with. They took in the other one, the wife and the other children, and then the other one was himself, myself, and then I'm like that man at that time was the only person driving that kind of car in Calabar Cross River. That is made of car. So I was asking him what prompted his choice. Because the car is not the one you say is a flashy one. The man laughed. He said, I'm not a child. It's women and children that like flashy things. He said, for him, what moves him is function. The function and the performance of this car was what moved him to get the car. So what attracted him was not the color of the car. What attracted him was not the beauty, was not the appearance of the car. By the time the man started mentioning the functions of the car and the performance of the car, you don't know that what attracts matured mind is not sight and appearance. So there are people that even you are half dressed, you are even disgusted to them. There are some people, you can set a light down, I see some things, I'm so, I see some people, how they just come out. In fact, now me said, collect the shame, I pity them. A matured person, what is this? What is this nonsense? What is this nonsense? So what function and what performance does your attraction come to? You think that when we come to church and say, well, what will make your members want to go this time for you? It is the suit you wear on Sunday or the hairstyle that you give. All of those things, that's not what moves them. Last week, last, last week, Thursday or so, I went to check a woman that she started coming with her children to the church like around two months ago. So I went to check her. So I asked her, what of your husband? She asked me, I said, the husband is not with them. And the husband is at Lagos and he was working, but he has decided to be like that. The husband has decided to be like me. He's now in Bible school. This one not met her husband before. He didn't say how much she wants her husband to be like me. You think saying that the car where I drive, she wants her husband to be. Why do you say I want my husband to drive the kind of car you are driving? You see, there are certain persons that they are mature in mind that this is, their attraction is, is beyond the standard. So if what you call attraction does not carry benefit and profit and does not attract kings and noble people, your ability to perform, the ability to function and perform when need arises and when location demands is an attraction. 
your ability to function and to perform when need arises and when occasion demand is an attraction. There are people like if they just got, something just happened, we just have an emergency and it just brings you up. You are ability to be able to cover that emergency and handle things. And you are able to function and perform. It's an attraction by itself. I remember we serving one of my pastors. Some of you know your evangelist Victor Agor. It wasn't, I don't think I, uh, all of the, I was, I was not, I've not been really been a fashion kind of person. But I knew what made that man. Always want to stay with me. That the man can leave church for me. Whether I want to go to South Africa, whether I want to go to Lagos, whether I want to go to Delta, as long as I am there, the wife is comfortable, they are like, he can be able to stand in, even if you are not around. So my ability to be able to function and to perform was the attraction. Don't just be beautiful for nothing. <laughs> eh? Don't just be beautiful for... Don't just be handsome and be president for nothing. Why should we have you, beautiful woman, and yet we are still under pressure? Why should we have you as a handsome man, but yet we are still lacking in things to be done? Don't just fix your nail and your hair, but your brain is not fixed. Are you getting me? Don't just fix your nails and your hair, but your brain is not. <laughs> oh, that one, wow, you. Okay, what of the one? Don't just come online and put on your data and off your senses. Oh, you don't know that. Some people will come online, put on their data and of their senses. That they will comment. You don't even understand. That's... <laughs> ah, there is this girl I can never forget. She believed in her street when I was still at Busa, our clothes. The girl stays in that street. So one day I happened to enter the same time that that girl entered. And then we started a conversation. When she said she's in Unicorn and she was at 300 level, and I was asking her what she does. She was mentioning about her anatomy. I said, her anatomy, that I, anatomy, I thought it's only the health people that does anatomy. She now began to explain to me that anatomy is on the different faces and have the health side and this other side. And this girl began to explain different, different types and level of anatomy inside taxi. This girl was explaining. Maybe say something they've been already tell her, say when you enter car or this thing. This girl explained, by the time she went out of the taxi, it was even the taxi man that came to me. Kai, this one goes to. This one goes to. That explanation that I said, wow. Apart from dressing and makeup and fixing, what else can you attract also? What else can you attract? Six pack. What do I don't understand? You better have brain back. Mm. I will just close with this Bible version. First Samuel chapter twenty-five. First Samuel chapter twenty-five. From verse 7 to verse 42, you see, it's, it's, a, it's a story that I think every one of us should be familiar with. The story of the woman called Abigail. But I just wish that we we'll go home, please read it again. Read it again. First Samuel chapter 25, from verse 7. You now understand the story and what happened. You know about Naval and Abigail. How many of us have read about the story before? Throughout the modern, modern thirty something, around thirty something verses of that scripture about Abigail and David and the husband Nabal. 
Nothing was talked about appearance. Appearance was not mentioned, or what was the height of Abigail was not mentioned. Her, her complexion was not mentioned. Her beauty was not mentioned. But you cannot help but begin to see attraction in her conversation, in her understanding, in her comprehension, in her approach, in her character, in her behavior. You cannot help but notice all of those things. How she was able to handle everything. How she was able to handle the situation. How she was able to talk to the king to be, to talk to the warrior. How she was able to change the heart and the mind of the warrior. How she was able to save the life of the people that were walking and living with her husband. Nobody talks about the eyelashes. Nobody talks about the heels that she wore. Nobody talks about the Italian shoes. All of the things. But look at what she was able to achieve. Abigail. Look at how she talked. If you check it and begin to see how she talked with David, how she approached David, then how she handled the whole situation. This woman entered David. Only in one meeting, David met her. One meeting. Some people have built themselves so much that they don't need the chance. Only one chance is enough for them. They will create an impact in your life. With the attraction that they carry. She entered David so much that David looked back and said, thank you. And then even when God had killed the woman's husband, David was happy. And David cannot but go and tell the woman, come and marry me. Just one encounter. And I, 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 I guess David would have stayed in her heart, in his heart. Because if you read all those places and hear the things she was talking to David, ten times she called David Master, Master, Compassion, Compassion, said, My Lord, My Lord. She was addressing David, she was talking about the assignment of David. She was able to know, to know the identity of David from a spiritual perspective. She took all good things to David. And before David accepted her gifts, David first accepted her person. See, mature people first accept your person before they accept your gifts. Mature persons first accept your person. Mature mind, they first accept your person before they accept your gifts. Now, look at her beauty, her attractions. When that kind of statement, look at the, the servant of the husband came and said, say, evil have been determined against our master. This young man would have just simply run away, knowing that evil has been determined against the master, the master is going to fail. One of them said, oh, let me just look for a way and find my way. But when he knows that our ogre's wife, that woman, too much, she has, he has to go to the ogre's wife. He said, I cannot fail my ogre's wife. I cannot run away. I know this kind of a woman. I know who this woman. I know her was. I went and met the woman and said, this is what is happening. Because over time, the woman has proved herself capable enough to handle the situation. And when she went to David, she was able to handle the situation. When David sent his, his servant to go and bring her as a wife, look at what she said. She said, wow, who am I to serve my, 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 my master's servant? And there's another level there. Maybe let me talk to those of you that uh, will need this. When you get to get married and your husband has people that are working with him, don't only serve your husband, serve those people too. You see, some women have lost it because they felt too big. How can I begin to? How can they don't know? When you serve those people, when you bet, Serving them not literally means that you should go and carry water for them to wash their hands. You should pay attention to their welfare. There is no how. They will be the one telling you things, bringing things to you that your husband is doing that you don't even know. She wasn't there when David sent his, uh, his, his people to come. But the, 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 the husband's servant went and confided in her and told her what was happening. And then, look at the way she got the, the secret one. She, she told the people who came to carry as David's, David's wife. She said she will not only serve David, she will also serve them. Look at the kind of beauty that she carried, the kind of attraction that she just entered David. And David said, this woman, this woman, I will come back for you. What benefit does your attraction carry? 
If some person is talking about attraction, if I did not enter to other side, some person you are not even ready for that kind of attraction you want to give. You are not ready, you are just given attraction, you don't even understand what attraction is. Attraction is like two-edged sword. It can be positive, it can be negative. 18 years. You even have more Facebook friends than myself. I feel for you. I feel for you. 18 years. Every week you post pictures on social media. I feel for you. You have not even reached 22. Look at the attraction you want to get. Have you not heard that don't arise, is it don't awake love when it is not? They are kind of persons that you want to attract. If they come to you, will you be able to you have the capacity to handle them? You even have more phone contacts than even what your phone contacts that your father and your mother put together. Your own, you have even more phone contacts than them. Attraction. Don't give, don't attach something that you don't have the capacity to withstand. And the fifth trip attracted Jesus, and when Jesus came, they didn't have anything to show for the attraction. And what did Jesus say? He said, "Cause be you from now and so nobody will from you." I tell my people, mindset will keep you more in marriage than body shape. Mindset keep people in marriage more than body shape. Mindset. If you tend to build all of the things you do just to make sure you want to get body shape, if all that you do, and then you don't pay attention to your mindset, all you pay attention to, you spend more for your body shape than you get for your mindset. Don't want to attract when you have not the capacity to sustain what you are attracting, what you want to attract. This woman, David has said in the spirit, he said, uh-uh. If this woman is not living with me, and she knows me to this level, if you read that version and see how this woman was giving details, talking about David's future, a woman that is not even married to David, but she has information, she knows things about David, and David would have said within his heart, if this woman does not live with me, and she knows me this way, how much more when she becomes my wife? Some people are even married to a man that they don't even know his assignment. They don't even know things. And so you're a failure if that in seven years, what you don't know a man, then then the secretary he has just employed in six months knows the man more than you who have been living with him for seven years. The fault is not the man's fault. I want to leave this evening. Father, the attraction that will bring kings, noble people and worthy people this year. Let that oil of that attraction is what I want to carry. The person I was reading prayer made a statement, said oil of attraction. Oil of attraction. Oil of attraction. Sometimes people need to see you to know you. People need to see you to know you. But before they see you, I wish you have felt yourself so that you can attract the right people and kings to you. What you carry, can it attract kings? Can it attract noble people? Father, I will attract the right people in my life. It's one person you will attract and your life will forever change. Some of us have lost, lost the chance that we can really attract God because we majored on the wrong things. I hear the Holy Ghost telling that they are majoring on the wrong things. They are majoring on the wrong attraction. They are majoring on the wrong things. They are majoring on the wrong things. From today, I want to major on the right things. I was listening to one man. He said, his father told him, when you open your mouth to tell the world who you are, there are people that are not even attract, attract even in words, even in words. Can your attraction start from the way you answer people, from the way you associate with people, from the way, from the way you even con- conversation with people? It's an attraction. is expressed in words, in conversation. Attraction is expressed in character. 
the man sat at the well, Eliazar, and said, Let the girl who will come and give me drink and with this drink and let it. He said, When Rebecca came and began to do what was the man was desiring, he said, And when she was given, look at the way she answered the man, from the way she answered the man, and uh, she gave to the man, she said, ah, Can I go ahead and do it to your camel? He said, While she was given the camel drink, the man was just looking at her. The man was looking at her. The scripture, that's what the scripture said. He said, The man was just watching her, and many things were running through the man's heart. He said, How, how can we get a girl like this? Can a girl like this be found? Can a girl like this? Can a girl like this? Can a young man like this be seen? And the man was wondering. So it is possible to see a girl like this in the midst of so somebody like this, somebody of this caliber, caliber, somebody of this capacity can be seen. Oh, when an opportunity will come for your attraction to be to be expressed, may you not fail us. When the opportunity will come for your attraction to be expressed, may you not fail. May the, when the opportunity will come for the attraction to be expressed, may you not fail. You don't need to be the head, the boss of that office. You don't need to be the vice chancellor of Unicap to be able. You can be there working at the club, working as the messenger. But every day you come, the attraction that you are showing will not make you irresistible to everyone that comes here. Every day we have an opportunity to express attraction. Every time and every person we come across, we have opportunity to express an attraction which many of us have been missing. Some of us want to be attracted by the ones you see that are driving cars. But also, so, so person can fail. If somebody disguise themselves and come to you, you may miss it. I'll be attracted to everyone that come across me. You don't know that even in satellite town we have area boys here. Yeah. Some of them will say, Who's, What kind of a pastor is this person? Some, some people they come in as pastor for KK people. You are attracted not only to church people. If you remove you from church people, can you be attracted to the secular people? You are doing business, it's an opportunity to show attraction. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All is the compassion and purity. Oh. David was an area warrior. A warrior. But this lady, first time, the way she talked with David, made David and his men, 200, 400 men, and men, they dropped their weapon with their master. They all dropped their weapon because of a woman. How the woman spoke to their master. How the woman got attracted to their master. The Bible didn't talk about her hairstyle. The Bible didn't talk about her dress code. But her behavior and her attitude. David has said to himself, Let God do to me and even more. If I don't kill every male person in the house of Nabal, but you can't unless if it's not past Abigail. But as you met Abigail, it all ended as with Abigail. Can your attraction be able to stop evil? Can the attraction you carry be able to command attention? Can the attraction you carry be able to bring profit to your family and bring profit to your community and bring profit to your church? Can the attraction you carry be able to bring profit to us? Do you carry that kind of attraction? <laughs>